Is life rushing you by? Or are you living your best life? Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, and this is your numerology reading. All right, so I picked two numbers for you here today, and the two numbers that came up are 84 and 888. So I want you to go ahead and breathe into those numbers. One of those numbers has a special message just for you. So go ahead and pop that number in the comments below and come back and listen to the message. Now, if you picked 84, it is all about slowing down. Are you rushing around? Do you feel like life is rushing you by? That you are just sitting on the sidelines watching your whole life go by while you are busy. You're busy doing this and that and the other thing. So if you picked 84, it is a definite sign from your angels that you need to slow down. It is time to take a break, maybe plan a vacation or rearrange your schedule so you're not taking on so much stuff because you know we have the holidays right around the corner and it's super important that you create balance in your life now because once we move into holiday season, you know, it's just a free for all. I'm sorry, but it is. So this is a reminder that you are not a superhero. You have a limited amount of energy and when it's all used up, and you don't take time to refuel, then your body starts to get beat up and run down. And it's super important as we move into, you know, the cold and flu season that your immune system is strong. So spirit speaks to us in a whisper, um, kind of a bonk over the head or Oh, taking you out, wiping you out or taking you down. So you can either listen to the whisper here today or wait until it escalates and next time you won't be so lucky. So your passion is commendable. Your dedication is admirable, but don't let this busy, busy, busy um, be at the expense of your well-being, your health, your vitality. Okay, so tend to your body before your body breaks down. Now, when we take a look at our numbers, we have the beautiful number eight, which is all about manifestation and abundance. And then we have four, which is angels are all around you. And when we add eight plus four together, we get 12. And then we add one plus two, we get three. And three is that beautiful energy of the ascended masters and creativity. So when we roll all this beautiful energy together, we get 84. And 84 is definitely a sign from your angels that you need to slow down and take time out for yourself. All right. So. In terms of love, this is actually a good sign. Uh, your angels want you to know that your relationship is being infused with the energy that you need, that it needs to thrive. So it's like there's a extra infusion, um, a, a, you know, beautiful, beautiful energetic reset. Uh, it reminds me of like a battery that's dead and you charge it up. <laughs> so the angels kind of see you need a little bit of a charge <laughs> and they are on it. Uh, they got you covered. They've got your back and they're um, adding an extra dose so that your commitment to each other, your relationship is thriving. And uh, I, this is also an energy of decluttering. So declutter your own baggage. What are you bringing into the relationship that's actually from a, pa a past relationship? Um, and you're, um, you know, putting that onto the other person and it really isn't the other person. The other person is not like that. It doesn't deserve that. So they deserve a clean slate of a fresh, um, uh, fresh perspective of 
your commitment to each other and the relationship and not continually being compared to somebody else or feeling like they're walking on eggshells. And this is also the energy of taking time to nurture your relationship. So not only are we focusing on nurturing yourself, but it's super, super important to be focused on your relationship and nurturing, um, tending to the garden. I see there's some weeds popping up and it's important to tend to the garden. Otherwise, when um, those weeds take over, it just turns into hopeless. Now, if you are single, this is a lucky sign that there is someone around the corner coming into your life as you heal, as you heal your past. So the biggest block to entering into a new relationship is that you're carrying a lot of baggage from your exes or from your parents' relationship. So it's time to clean up, you know, clean your own house. Who wants to come and live with you when your house is dirty, right? <laughs> so get to work, clean that house up. And that guy, that gal is going to show up for you. Okay, here's your affirmation. Go ahead and pop it in the comments below to add an extra punch to the energy of this beautiful number 84. I give myself permission to slow down and be present. I give myself permission to slow down and be present in my life. Ah, oh, I love that. All right, now, don't forget we've got a free meditation over on our website. We switch that up every month. The meditation that's available to you this month to listen to is called Garden of Your Life. And it's all about weeding out um, what's not working and really uh, honing and nurturing what is working. And we just did a beautiful, um, beautiful free masterclass last week. We opened up the Lightworkers Academy. It is officially closed the live program, but we are still accepting students into our self-paced program. So be sure to pop on over to our website to check out more information about that at heavensenthealing.us. All right, well, let's dive into our next number. And the next number that came up for you is 888. For those of you that picked this number, it's all about wealth. Woohoo! This is one of my favorite numbers. I love eights, especially on license plates. Are you living your best life? The angels are uh, commending you for hard work finally paying off. So if you haven't gotten that raise, if you haven't gotten that bonus, it is right around the corner because I am seeing a shower of abundance and prosperity raining down upon you financial serenity. So it's super important as you revel in this beautiful energy of wealth to be financially responsible with that wealth so that uh, your security is assured. So, uh, you know, don't blow a thousand dollars on lottery tickets. Uh, take that time to invest them, that money, invest in things that are going to be long-term. Get the, the mortgage paid off or the student loans taken care of, but be smart with this money. You're gonna thank, you're gonna thank me later for that. Now, I love the eight, the number eight, because when you turn it on your side, it's actually the symbol of infinity. Isn't that amazing? And so, infinity is tapping into that unlimited potential that we all came to this planet with unlimited possibilities tapping into the divine intelligence intelligence the um, god energy the divine source energy creator whatever that is for you but it is unlimited there isn't a you know ceiling on the wealth 
that you can achieve in your lifetime. And you are not taking away from anybody else's wealth. We each have our own storehouse of wealth that we don't share with each other. The world is your oyster. So every time you see this number, 888, remember that the world is your oyster and you literally can bring in whatever you desire. And those intentions, those desires that are placed into our heart are there for a reason. And the universe is going to bring you the means that you need to take that desire to the next level. I love it. Uh, the last message here with 888 is to um, be careful about what you're thinking. So again, we go back into what you put out into the universe comes back to you. Now, when you're seeing 888, it's a sign you're on the right track. So you have been thinking positively. All of those affirmations have been working. And it's um, important to stay on this path to keep that vibration high by continually uh, monitoring your mindset and making sure that your um, cancel, clear, delete anytime you have a negative thought in your mind. All right. So when we dial back our numbers, we've got eight, which is manifestation, eight again, which is abundance, and eight the third time around is wealth. So it's not only doubled, but it's tripled with three numbers, tripled the energy of all of that um, rolled in together, rolled up into one ball. Now, when we add eight plus eight plus eight, we get 24 and we add two plus four, we get six. So this number also has the energy of balance and harmony. So you literally cannot go wrong with this number. I love it. Fantastic. So eight, 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 Wealth is raining down on you now and financial serenity is happening in your life today. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now in terms of love, this energy wants you to know that it is time to forgive and forget. If you have been holding on to something that um, was painful in this relationship or you have some resentment, for your partner, the universe is wanting you to know that you can't move forward together until you let go. <laughs> you let go, you forgive and forget and move on. Um, start fresh. Now, this is also a sign that there's positive change coming. As you step into being more in the relationship, there's positive change coming. I mean, it just, it happens. When you change, change happens. Don't you love that? And it is about creating balance in the relationship. So if in all areas of the relationship, so if you're finding that you're doing more work around the house and your partner's kind of slacking, it's time to stay, say something and create that balance. So there isn't resentment. There's not anger. There, there isn't, you know, um, the hidden, hidden uh, agenda going on because you're upset that you speak your truth, you just be transparent, what's bothering you, get it out, uh, get it out there on the table, and then figure it out, figure out a plan that serves both of you, not just one of you. Because trust me, you know, I've been married for almost 40 years uh, in my in the relationship. And they'll get away with as much as you let them get away with. And I'm the same way. You know, if my husband doesn't speak up about something, I'll let him do it. <laughs> I'm a busy girl. Um, but when he brings something to my attention, oh yeah, I'll step up. I'll um, dive in, pitch in and help out. Uh, but yeah, so just be mindful of that. You know, relationships are a lot like the the um, energy that we have with our children. You know, when we make them toe the line, it's amazing what they can do. But when you aren't looking or you, you know, give an inch, they'll take a mile, most definitely. Now, if you are single, 
the same goes true, especially with that baggage, you know, the emotional baggage. What are you hanging on to that is preventing you from really starting fresh with somebody new? So focus on that healing work and that new person is right around the corner, which was a very similar message with our last number two. All right, here's your affirmation. Go ahead and pop it in the comments below to add that extra energy around this number, 888. I am worthy of wealth, prosperity, and abundance in all areas of my life. I am worthy of wealth, prosperity, and abundance in all areas of my life. I love it. I love it. All right, now, if you have not joined our family yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, engage with us. We love to connect with you and um, we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.